4 from Resident Audio is a 4-in, 4-out Thunderbolt audio interface that provides Mac users with a low-cost option for low-latency inputs and outputs on the go or in a home studio. One of the first in its class to bring a small portable audio converter to the Thunderbolt format, the T-Series T4 is a great option for electronic musicians and producers alike to capture and playback audio in high definition with the world's leading software. Pros Low latency Rock solid drivers Easy to use Very portable High quality preamps with lots of clean gain great conversion, and no AC power supply needed. Cons Lack of useful headphone and output routing options. Average construction quality. Input metering leaves much to be desired. Keeping with the simple design of the interface, the box has relatively few contents aside from the unit. The driver is supplied on a USB key resembling a credit card. Also included is a quick start guide and a short Thunderbolt cable to connect the interface to the computer. Although the cable is quite short, this shouldn't be much of an issue as most people using this interface will most likely be using it on their computer desk or in close proximity to their computer. The front panel features four XLR TRS combo jacks, each with an accompanying knob to control input level. The knobs are illuminated by an LED that serves as a level meter. There are switches to enable 48 volt phantom power and to change the line level TRS inputs to high Z level for recording electric instruments directly. There's a monitor volume knob which controls the level of the outputs on the back panel and an input mix knob which controls the level of direct monitoring. The rear panel features four balanced line level quarter inch outputs, a headphone jack that mirrors output one and two, MIDI input and output, and Thunderbolt connectivity. With the help of the quick start guide, installing the accompanying software and connecting the T4 to the computer was a breeze. Within minutes, I was monitoring mixes through my Yamaha HS80 speakers and gearing up Logic Pro to record a few tests. The software mixer is very simple and easy to use with just two stereo faders for the T4's four outputs. It leaves a lot to be desired as far as routing and control options are concerned, as you'll see later. A worthy design trade-off in order to provide ease of use and simplicity. To test the unit, I decided to put it through a couple of my typical workflows, one of which being a live acoustic performance and the other tracking electric guitar and bass guitar direct into the high z inputs. For the acoustic performance, I used four microphones, a Shure SM7B for vocals, an Apex 460 large diaphragm condenser for acoustic guitar, and a pair of Studio Project C4 small diaphragm condenser microphones in the room. The Shure SM7B is a very quiet mic that requires a lot of gain to be brought up to a healthy level. The T4's preamp provided more than enough clean gain to bring the desired level into Logic Pro without coloring the sound. The Apex 460 tube condenser mic is self-powered via a breakout box, so it didn't require phantom power from the T4. However, it does have quite a high output. Luckily, the T4's preamps had more than enough headroom to accommodate the hot mic. The Studio Project C4 small diaphragm condenser mics require 48 volts phantom power, which the T4 provided flawlessly without any audible noise.
every breath seems meaningless Every step is one step I And I can find no significance In the breath in my lungs And I find it kind of funny I find it kind of strange how you pull my strings again and so again find it kind of funny find it kind of strange now i'm singing oh 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 The idea of the quality of the high Z inputs and how well the unit performs at low sample rates, I decided to track some electric guitar and bass guitar direct into the high Z instrument inputs on the front of the T4. I figured this would be an accurate real world test as a large part of the demographic of consumers drawn to minimal interfaces like these are using them to record direct electric and bass guitar with amp simulators and virtual drum instruments. The guitar that was used in these tests is a Gibson Les Paul Jr. equipped with EMG89 pickups. The EMG pickups are quite hot and output a healthy signal that often doesn't translate well through lower end high Z preamps. This was not the case with the T4, which served up more than enough clean headroom to allow me to capture a detailed direct signal from the guitar. The bass used is an Ibanez BTB 675 5 string which features active Bartolini pickups, which are also quite high output. It too posed no problem for the T4's high Z inputs whatsoever.
found that the level metering, which is handled by three color wraparound LEDs on each gain knob, is not terribly accurate and basically unusable for setting levels beyond letting you know if the signal is clipping or not. Resident Audio clearly opted for a more simple level meter in favor of a slimmer design, which may be a worthwhile trade-off. For studio applications, the level meters in your DAW of choice can be used for finer level adjustments. Another qualm I have is the lack of useful headphone routing options using the software mixer. The headphone outputs and monitor outputs cannot be set to act independently of each other, which means turning down output 1 and 2 also turns down the volume of the headphones, making it difficult to monitor using strictly headphones without using an external mixer. Resident Audio have done a lot of good with the T4. They're one of the first manufacturers to harness the lightning speed and power of Thunderbolt technology and bring it to market at an affordable price. For those looking for an excellent mobile option for field recording and electronic music performance, they can find no better in this price range. The preamp quality is amazing for the price and they can handle just about any task you throw at them. All of the shortcomings this unit has have been sacrificed to maintain the integrity and purpose of the design, and I appreciate that. This is a unit that really excels at the purposes it serves.